bringing relief to a local food desert. An historic grocery store in Jacksonville's east side neighborhood has its grand reopening tomorrow. Residents are excited because since the Deb store closed in 2011, they've had to travel at least half an hour to buy fresh produce and meat. The store is located at the intersection of Florida Avenue and Fifth Street. That's where News for Jacks reporter Ann Maxwell joins us live tonight with more on its reopening. Ann? Ashley, this is a big deal for people in this neighborhood, as well as all of these community groups that have been working hard for years to get this off, off the ground. The building has been totally revamped. It's got a fresh coat of paint. Uh, it's got a new identity as well. It's a North Florida Goodwill grocer. So for 90 years, this was a pillar of this community on the east side, and it's really been revamped to meet modern needs. And right now, the biggest one is food. People need a place where they can buy food that is healthy, that is affordable, prices here are low. And a big component of this is they're really trying to hang on to this store's historic past. The Deb store was a neighborhood grocery opened by Lebanese immigrants in 1921. Tuesday, it was the site of a flurry of finishing touches for its next chapter as the corner at Deb's store. I think it's great. The store's reopening is a relief to Eastside residents like Tony Millage. Oh, I'm on the city bus. It takes me about two hours to get to Sam's Clubs, out Dunn's, Harvey's, downtown. It takes me about... 45 minutes. He and other neighbors remember when brothers Nick and Gene Debs ran their local grocery store. They were the friendliest people in the world. The Debs weren't just grocers. They also served as a kind of neighborhood bank, cashing checks for customers and letting them shop on credit. There's a lot about this store that was innovative for its time. Joe Debs is the grandson of the store's founders. During the Depression and years in that time frame, people could come in, they could get groceries and when they could pay, afford to pay, they'd come in and pay. The Deb store closed in 2011 when his father, Nick, passed away. Since then, neighbors have been in need again. When we had to close the store, I knew that that was the end of fresh food being in this part of the city. And so that was tough. He says he tried to get it reopened, but the project didn't take off until about four years ago when outside groups such as anti-poverty nonprofit Lift Jacks, the historic Eastside Community Development Corporation, Vice Star, and Goodwill of Northeast Florida got involved. Three million dollars later, the corner at Deb's store is ready for its new iteration. It's now owned by Lift Jacks and operated by Goodwill. So my understanding is this is kind of like a Goodwill store, but it's just a grocery store. That's good. That's correct. A major draw is the prices. 94 cents for these chicken fingers. I'm like, that can't be right. Nope, that's right. Upstairs, there's a computer lab anyone can use, as well as a career center that's open to the public. Job training, job preparedness, resume building, searching for employment. We assist in, in that area. Longtime Eastside resident Priscilla Wilson says she's going to be first in line when the store opens Wednesday. Yeah, I've been out here 23 years and and y'all progress is now. Y'all making everything look a whole, whole lot better because that's going to bring, that's going to bring this neighborhood out. That store, that one store going to bring this whole neighborhood out. How does it feel to be making such a big difference? And it makes a big, it, it feels great. And it feels great for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is the fact that we are serving the community. The grand opening with the ribbon cutting is scheduled for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're now reporting live from the east side. I'm Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you so much, Ann. And you've heard us mention the term food desert before. You may not be familiar with it, so what is it? U.S. Department of Agriculture defining a food desert as a community where there's at least a 20% poverty rate and 33% of residents in that community live more than a mile from the nearest grocery store in urban areas or 10 miles from the nearest grocery store in rural areas. Food deserts are roughly four times more likely in cities than in areas with lesser population density. And instead of traditional supermarkets and grocery stores, the grocery needs of those living in food deserts are generally served by dollar stores or convenience stores. These outlets have limited shelf space and they usually don't have as much access to fresh, healthy foods. From a health standpoint, a diet comprised of processed foods can lead to a risk of medical conditions like diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Limited food choice it's also uh, leads to increased costs and forces people to spend more money on food, not leaving enough for other needs like education 
and medical care. Ultimately, the inability to access quality food can have lifelong consequences if not addressed as soon as possible.